might be an extended checks and balances video. So I have a in the midst of a fairly long drive. Try to do a couple live streams, but it didn't work out. Verizon decided not to cooperate. And I started thinking about my 11 years of loyalty to that company. It might be time to move on because their service is not what it once was. In any case, hope everybody out there is doing well. I want to let everybody know I appreciate their viewership. I appreciate your comments, those with the cojones enough to step forward and comment. Because if you do comment on the channel, more than likely I will comment on your comment. Because I do like to participate with, and interact with other folks, especially if they're promulgating something. And let, let's get into that, all right? That's a good topic. I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about, but that, that's one thing we can talk about here, is the way folks approach internet comments fields. It's so interesting to me, coming from my generation, which was a no internet generation, and this generation is now completely internet generation, so it's like, I've run into like one of two types usually, or someone falls somewhere in between the two. One of two types of commenters. The first type is the young, brash, internet generation type who are trolls and feel entitled to say whatever they want to say without even thinking about or considering the room. Like when people say, read the room, they don't do that. Or they just don't care and they just say what they're going to say and it doesn't matter. And then the other type is sort of like the people that are my age or older who don't know how to use the internet and don't know anything about internet etiquette and they do the same thing. The way I gauge it is this. If you're going to put a comment on a video the content of that comment is that something that you would walk up to a complete total stranger and say would you say it to their face a complete total stranger would you do it if the answer is yes then by all means comment if the answer is no then maybe you ought to think about your conveyance how you're saying it exactly for example, all right, I'll use this as an example, as a good example. Uh, in the last month or so, for whatever reason, I've been posting videos that have been mentioning colon Russell hyphen J colon cool. And uh, one comment, what one person commented something like, and this is a paraphrase, something like, Russell's clone does not act like that, or something like that. Russell's clone does not act like that. <laughs> I don't know if the person's trolling, or if they're serious, or what. But I mean, if you look at the terms and conditions of the comments field, literally, that comment is not appropriate. And from the individual that I think it came from, it astonishes me that that individual would actually put a comment like that up there. Knowing that they've been a student of mine, they've been studying for a few years, and yet they still, I mean, if they're being serious, which I have no reason to doubt that they're not, or I have no reason to doubt their seriousness. I mean, if someone's posting a comment, 
I, I take it at face value, unless they say, you know, they're kidding or they put a smiley face or a little winky face or something. I take them serious. Why wouldn't I? Why would they post something like that? A clone. Oh, yes, folks. I'm aware of the theory that human beings can be cloned and that there are clones walking around of Russell or Biden, celebrities, whoever. I'm aware of those theories, okay? I'm also aware that there's no concrete continuance of the evidence to prove those theories. I'm not saying it's not possible. Certainly not saying that at all. There's a lot that's possible. But in the context of what I'm saying to you, the terms and conditions of this YouTube channel, it's about facts. It's about things you can certify, things you can prove to another contract party. Cloning is not one of them. I mean, human cloning is not one of them. So why would you even do that? Why would you? Why would it enter your mind to even say something like that? It baffles me, folks. Even people that have been studying for years, it just shows that they have not come out of that fiction mindset yet. Which is probably why they don't have closure in the grammar. Exactly why. Exactly why. Another one came from some dude who has... I think they have like two or three hundred subscribers. And they fancy themselves to be some sort of expert on something. I don't know. I didn't watch any of their videos. I just clicked on their profile after I read their comment and looked at what they the content they had on there and you know he's one of those people that are like i know the truth i'm the one that knows the truth you are all you all need to wake up you know that that type of uh, personality where um you all don't know what you're talking about i've been through more than anybody I've been through so much. I have so much experience. I'm such a wise guy. Listen to me. Me, me, me. That, that's, that's the impression I get anyways of this individual, especially from the comment that they left. Again, folks, I have no idea who this, who this person is. And they come onto my YouTube channel and they say something about the Russell video. They say something like... Uh, why would you give a spawn of Satan any airtime? Or it's not what they said, but that's my paraphrase of what they said, my gist of what they said. Why would you even pay attention to this spawn of Satan? I mean, that's almost that's almost as bad as the clone comment. Spawn of Satan. What is a Satan, folks? I went to Catholic school. I know what the concept of Satan is. Again, in the context of this channel, which is a grammar channel, a channel about facts, Satan has no place here. So the only reason why someone like that would say something like that is because they don't know any better. They're used to just doing whatever. And they, oh, and then they then they accused me, or they didn't accuse me, but they, they told me to stop being a beta male. Now this is coming from a dude who, apropos of nothing, leaves a comment on one of my videos. Never heard of him before, never seen him before, don't know nothing about him. And he comes onto my channel, my video, and leaves a comment starting off with why do you think I care why do you think I care what you say who invited you bro 
nobody twisted your arm to come here. You're acting like you were forced to watch my video. I mean, you're the one that clicked on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, uh, as they say, that's Gilligan activity. Complete and utter Gilligan activity. Anyways, he starts asking me, who are you? Bro, are you freaking five years old? Do you need me to spoon feed you? Do you need me to put you on my lap, get a little bib on you, get some porridge and spoon feed you because you don't know enough to look at the freaking about section? On my YouTube channel, did you ever think about that? Did you ever think about reading a description of the video and say, oh wow, there's an email address. There's an email address at the bottom of the video. Maybe I could write this guy an email and ask him, who are you? What's going on? Let's have a conversation. But no, no, no. This type of individual wants to put on a show in a comments field. Another one of these pay attention to me I need attention listen to me look at me one of those types and I do get those types every now actually more often now the more subscribers I get but I, I deal with them appropriately and then he kind of backpedaled and tried to say you know well I so, tried to give me some kind of backhanded compliment about my channel Bro, I don't need your sub or, or your views or whatever. You can go somewhere else. And uh, I mean, because going back to the beta male thing, the hallmark of a beta male is someone who goes on to someone else's channel and critiques them, insults them, badmouths them, is rude, acts like an idiot. Like, Think about it. And then this goes back to what I was saying at the beginning of the video. Would you act that way to someone to their face? Would you walk into a stranger's house or, or if you, oh, even better, you see a stranger at a bar or a restaurant or wherever, a supermarket, would you speak to them that way? <laughs> Is that, who are you? <laughs> Why should I care what you think or what you say? I mean, come on, bro. It's like, it would like be me. Here's a good example. It would be like me standing uh, in a park somewhere by a tree, giving a speech to anyone who wants to listen. And then this dude walking up, standing, you know, five or 10 feet away from me, choosing to stand there and listen to me, and then when I'm done speaking, all of a sudden they say, who are you? Why should I care what you, th what you say? <laughs> it would never happen, folks. It would never happen. And if it would happen, then I would have to question the sanity of that individual, which is actually a pretty good question anyways at this point. So we'll see. I uh, I returned fire, so to speak, to that individual. So we'll see how they take it. Oh, and then they said something about that. Some about uh, some about they thought that they they perceived that they have offended me in some way. But they also said that they must have offended me with the truth or something like that. Bro, I, I don't get offended. People don't understand that, which I don't fault him for it because he didn't do his research. He's obviously someone who wants to be spoon-fed and um, he may not be playing with a full deck of cards, so I don't fault him for that. But I, I don't get offended. I just am very blunt and straightforward 
and we'll return the energy that you bring. Like if he brings energy here, like all blustery and rude and acting, I'll say it, acting like an idiot. Or no, an idiot would be a, the wrong word. I would say acting ignorant. There we go. Ignorant. <clears throat> Try not the name call. Then, then I'm going to return that energy to them and probably add a little bit more energy to it, you know, just to see how they handle it. Because at this point, I mean, I know they haven't read the terms and conditions of the channel. I know that they're not on my channel to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. I know they're not. They probably have no interest in it because they already know everything. How are you going to teach somebody that already knows everything? So, I usually, you know, prod them a little bit and see what they'll do. And I usually end up blocking them. Which I don't mind at all. Because I've made peace with the reality that my channel probably isn't going to get very many more subscribers than it has now. And if it does, it's going to be slow growth. Because only a very, very small select few, the 1% of the 1% of 1% of the serious folks out there will actually follow through and learn this grammar. And I'm talking to you. You folks know who you are that have contacted me, even done consultations, and said that you were ready and serious to learn the grammar and then you disappeared. You ghosted the grammar. You know who you are. It's no biggie. It's a regular thing. This grammar, I used to say this grammar is for everybody. Well, let me amend that statement. This grammar is for everyone who is very, very, very serious and committed. And this grammar is for folks that want to put in hard work. Once folks see that there's hard work involved, man, they go running. They don't want nothing to do with it. They'd rather go off and half-ass it and spend a couple hundred bucks on a live life claim over at the Syntax Learning Center. Spend a couple hundred bucks on a live life claim with incorrect grammar, I might add. And then get involved with that whole scene of uh, bringing the chief forward. And the chief is coming. Oof. Enough said about that. All right. What else was I going to talk Oh, one thing, one other thing I did want to mention. I feel I have to mention this out loud to the universe. Chicago. I did mention in my community section that if there is anyone located around the Chicago metropolitan area, that I would be in that area for the coming weeks, and that if you wanted to apply for a one hour correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar workshop, to email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and I'll see what I can do. It would be an in person workshop. Um, I've spent some time in Chicago over the past few months. I can't really think of anything about that city that I like. And the main thing that... Two main things... That I dislike immensely about the city are... Number one, the traffic. And number two, the internet service. The Wi-Fi service complete dog water traffic complete and utter dog water the toll system on the roads complete and utter dog water the department of transportation uh, worse than dog water and if anybody's from Michigan or I'm sorry if anybody's from Chicago I'm not apologizing for anything I can't think of one redeeming quality for Chicago that would surpass those two things. Absolutely terrible. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, and the uh, well, won't talk too much about the neighborhoods on the south side and stuff like that where I've spent a little bit of time. Other than you might want to work on helping to make communities safer. <laughs> All right. All right, that's uh, I'm about tapped out. Um, hope you enjoyed this. It's more content for you. I'll try to bring... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One other thing, um, which I mentioned in the live stream, which probably nobody caught because it went down before it could even begin. I'm with the vision of creating a series of lectures, kind of in the For the Quantum Grammar Shoot podcast vein where they're sort of audios, but they have to do specifically with the grammar and their complete knowledge cultivation content. Like why it's important to use correct grammar, why it's important to be clear in your communications and so on and so forth and giving examples. I think creating a lecture series, an audio lecture, sh lecture series would be beneficial to everybody out there. So that's an idea I had, and hopefully I'll be rolling that out. Thanks for watching.